Hello and welcome to this episode of our samples. My name is Joe, I'm from IC Group and I would like to introduce to you to the tic-tac-toe game written entirely using wiseshade.net. The application runs in the browser, so let's start. And uh, I assume that everybody is uh, familiar with the tic-tac-toe game. So this is how it works. Oh, I lost already. Okay, next game, and so on. So let's have a quick look at the application itself. We have a few variables, like the player score and the computer score. We have um, nine fields that uh, hold the state of each field. The player's file simply shows an enum that says the field is not selected, the player clicked the field, or the computer clicked the field. Uh, we also have uh, the information who's the next player and uh, an area of buttons that we have to draw on the game. Resetting the game means that all fields are set to none, uh, which means it's not selected. The current player is uh, the player, not the computer. And then we call update game. Update game uh, draws all the buttons according to uh, who owns the field and shows the score. Update button simply says if it's the player who owns the field then we show an X and change the colors. Accordingly we change the colors for a computer and uh, if the field is not selected the button is just light gray. There are some helper functions like index, uh, not so important in this video. Is winner returns true if the combination of selected fields by a certain player uh, has a three in a row? And there are eight combinations that are possible. For example, if the first row is selected, all three uh, fields of the first row are selected, of the second row, third row, or if vertical columns are selected, the three that are possible, and this is a diagonally, which means field zero is the top left, field four is the one in the center, and field eight is the field on the bottom right. Here we have helper function that returns true if there is any field left that is not selected yet. And now there are the two choices methods. This one is called when the player selects a field. First of all we determine which is the index of the field. Then we look at the index and set it to player, which means the player clicked this field. We update the button, which means it is drawn and we check if we have a winner. If yes, we call game over and return. If not, we check if there is any unchecked field left. If no, then the game is over and it's a tie. And if we get here, nobody won yet and there's still a choice left, so we are giving the computer a chance. What I forgot to mention is that we also have a timer here. The timer is fired frequently and checks if the computers, it's the computer's choice now. Then we call computer choice. Computer choice gets a choice from a static class that I will show you later. Then it basically does the same that the player did. It sets the field updates the button, checks if there's a winner, if there's any choice left, if no, it's uh, the player's turn. And now let's go to Computer Brain. Computer Brain is a static class that finds a good choice for the computer. The main routine is get choice, where we pass the fields that are occupied. And in here we check if the computer can make winning choice. At first, uh, we check if there uh, are th 
two in a row and we can select the third one to win. The second check that we have to perform is, is there any chance for the player to win with the next move? If so, we have to make sure to block the player. At this point, we cannot win ourselves by clicking. The player does not have a chance to win with this next click. So uh, we check if the center field is uh, available. If yes, we check the center field. If no, we check one of the corners. And when we get here, there is no smart solution yet. So we just uh, make a random choice. Finding a field in a row of three that is not occupied yet is the purpose of this method. It checks the eight possible winning combinations and it finds the one available field. If there is no field, it returns minus one. The class is able to find out if it can win with a certain uh, field. It is smart enough to um, find out if the player can win with his next field uh, and the field has to be blocked. And it can start with a field that is more likely uh, to win. Uh, if none of these is available, then it just makes a random choice. So, because it's kind of uh, artificial intelligence, if you will, I call this one computer brain. Okay, that is basically how this little game works. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for listening. See you next time.